up everybody um, I'm back uh, I've been away for a while obviously you know in America uh, I had a few personal issues going on which I've now had to get on with um, busy time for me I've just finished uni I've got to find a job uh, I'm trying to I've got I'm trying to cut down for the competition I have in October on October the 3rd that is the British finals for UK BFF, the junior physique, so that's under 23s. Really looking forward to that. I haven't been on stage in a long time now. Well, I say long time, but a couple months. So currently trying to cut down for that. Training hard, cardio, abs, lots and lots of workouts. Uh, training twice a day sometimes. So I'm just going to take you through the cycle that I go through. I'm going to take you through the processes that I, that I do personally, little methods, little tricks, the tips to help to dieting, help training. Um, calorie restrictions are on, training hard, energy's low, but motivation's high, so that's one plus for me. Um, I think that's about it. So new series, cutting down, counting down to the finals. Try to get three, four videos up a, up a week, different workouts. Because at the moment I'm getting bored of training, so I'm really trying to change the ways that I work out, the types of workouts that I do, different methods, different focuses, different angles, all that kind of thing. So hopefully it'll give you guys a lot of ideas. I think that's about it. Anyway, on to breakfast. First meal of the day. Breakfast. I keep it easy. Um, I'm gonna show you instead of telling you. I have. 50 grams of Quaker oats and I'll probably go for three of these eggs and that's it literally 200, um, 200 mils of milk probably 10 grams of honey as well in my oats other than that literally just eggs and oats simple proteins, simple fats simple carbs not simple carbs but a simple form of carbs I measure out everything that I eat from milk to to the eggs to the oats, yeah. you know, I put it on when it will focus. Zero it. That's yeah, fifty-one. One gram's not gonna hurt. Three eggs, 50 grams of oats, 10 grams of honey, 200 milligrams of milk. Micros and calories. What's up everybody? I'm just on the way to train glutes and hamstrings. Uh, training with my boy, Tom. Uh, he's also a few weeks out from his competition. He's eight weeks out from his competition. So. Hang on, let me turn this classical music around. I do love classical, by the way. It's my new, it's my new thing on radio. Um, yeah, so he's eight weeks out from his um, his British finals as well. He's uh, he's doing bodybuilding, junior bodybuilding. Um, really nice guy. It's that fucking mindset of a champion, and that's what you need to surround yourself with, really. You know, I train with them a couple of times, and every single time we do it, we smash it. You know, we motivate each other, we just go for it. You gotta do that. You gotta push each other up around you. So I thought, why not start training a bit more with him? Um, see if we can fucking smash these finals together. So yeah, uh, glutes and hamstrings. Probably start with a reverse hack squat type thing. So I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side commentary here. Um, I warmed up really, really well. I only had 10s on here originally, then 20s, then 40s, then 60. Uh, I think this is probably four plates each side, I'm not really sure. Stretch right down. You really want to feel the hamstring and the glute stretch. And you want to squeeze as hard as you can when you come up, guys, because the glutes are 85% fast twitch muscle fibers. That means they work explosively, which means a slow eccentric and a really fast concentric. That's what's going to give you the most gains in your ass. Um, this was a new exercise pretty much for uh, Tom, he, I think he really liked it, but you know, as you see here, like, he really stretches his ass right out, he bends his knees a bit on this set, but uh, we got it sorted in the later sets, so feel the stretch right down, 
and then squeeze right up as hard as you can. Um, these hamstring hamstring curls, they're one and one quarter reps. So you do one full rep with the full stretch, full and then the a quarter or a half rep. All the way down. Uh, what that does go. is it retargets like the upper hamstring with the, with the glute tie in, so you get that kind of big fullness in the uh, in the hamstring muscle belly. Um, I love this because no one else fucking does it, so why not make it hard as possible? One and one quarter reps. Uh, we moved on to stiff leg deadlifts but we put them up we went on top of a box so we could go past our toes I know it looks like my back rounds a bit but the thing is the weight's so light like I feel the stretch really really well right down the hamstring so you want to keep your legs as straight as possible obviously mine bend but I feel a bit more activation in my glutes when I do that stretch right down uh, and really pull hard up when you're coming up squeezing the glutes squeezing the top of the hamstrings and all the way through the hamstrings in fact not just the top um, past your toes come back up Lovely jubbly, nice, well not very nice actually, really really hard. Um, Good, get that we found the bar quite hard, like the grip got really hard because I don't really know why, I think we smashed back the night before. Uh, so we moved on to dumbbells which actually took a lot of the pressure off our um, off our forearms. Also you can get a bigger stretch and a bigger range of movement which is another plus. So don't forget with these exercises guys you can switch into barbell, you can switch into dumbbells. You just just make sure you do what's best for you because you know if I feel the barbell better than Tom did then I should do the barbell but fortunately we both we both felt the same so we could do the same together uh, so then we moved on to just an all-out killer set 20 reps in fact I don't think it was 20 reps I think it was just failure every single set and then we did five eccentric so we'd get help to the top and then release it as slow as we can. That really, really breaks down those fibers. We just use this as an absolute finisher for the hamstrings and glutes. Train glute, uh, hamstrings and glutes twice a day, so do four exercises. All of these sets were a minimum of four sets, five sets. I, don't, I didn't even count half of them. I just keep going until I can't. I'd say probably six sets, six sets four sets and then on this we did three killer sets so we did a fair bit a fair few sets quite a lot of volume for just the hamstrings and the glutes but if I find if I just isolate my hamstrings and glutes that way I can hit them twice in the week which means I'm doubling up on exactly what I've just told you every single week which is more volume oh, slow 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 So I just killed that, that amazing hamstring and glute workout. We pushed hard. Uh, you'll see from the footage, like it, you can't really see how hard we pushed, but like I couldn't even film those last sets and because I, I had to get uh, Tom to spot me. Like you, you got to do this, guys. Like if you want things to grow, you got to push past failure. You know, a lot of these things we went to failure and then we'll do the negative reps. And if we didn't do the negative reps, we'll do drop sets. Uh, it's hard to film all of that um, when when we were both working so hard. Honestly, like my, I was just sweating. I couldn't even concentrate towards the end. I was like eyes flashing. I needed food. So post workout meal, uh, nice and simple sweet potato. Uh, just gonna put a tiny bit of the one calorie spray oil on it. Gonna have probably half this avocado and 200 grams of chicken. Uh, also in the chicken, I'm gonna put 50 grams of total yogurt. This stuff's really good by the way, you can use it for like a paste for chicken. So I'm gonna make a kind of sticky Nando's E sauce. Uh, that way the flavor just clings to the actual chicken instead of just falling off when you cook it. Uh, I do both of these in the oven. I'll put the sweet potato kind of I guess sweet potato chips in first, probably put them in for about 15 minutes, take them out, shake them around and then I'll put the chicken in for another 15-20 minutes and because I cut the chicken up small it's all pretty much cooked in there and it's still juicy. Uh, I'll cut the avocado up, I'll probably just eat it like that or I'll make a quick guac with garlic, maybe a bit of onion, lime, maybe. I'll see you anyway. And that's it. I don't know why I put it on such a big plate, but that's my watch that fork. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my lunch. 
most days. Uh, sometimes I put a tiny bit of light mayonnaise on. Haven't got any, so I'm not going to use any. Uh, other than that, pretty similar lunches. Um, Chains of chicken up. I can even do teriyaki chicken. I've actually done jerk seasoning on my um, on my uh, potatoes here, and I love jerk, so it's good for me. Uh, but you can do anything. You can just plain salt them. You know, you can paprika them. Anything like that, and it gives you like a different meal every single time. But same food. So, oh, and just cut avocado. Uh, I vary that on depending on how much fat I want to eat, but I'm craving some avocado today. So that's lunch. On to my third and final meal of the day. Uh, we got some mint. Break up quick. Uh, we mix that with some garlic and onions. We're gonna mix that again. Just some old El Paso Fayette mix. Nice and easy. I'm really tired after the day, so I'm not too bothered. And one pizza of bread. Yay! There we have it. Put a tiny bit more of this in the pizza. Other than that, that's meal three, last meal of the day. Have another snack. A bit later, that'll be it. So, I've done it again. Forgot my snack. I had 50 grams of salmon, one egg, and 40 grams of avocado. Just needed fats and proteins and no carbs, so enjoyed it. Now I'm going to go to bed, because it's... It's not even that late, but I'm knackered, so thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, because all of it helps the channel. Um, see you in the next one. Thank you, YouTube.